uh, this is coming uh, like like an avalanche. Um, a long list of people associated with the sex offender Jeffrey Epstein, who quote committed suicide end quote after he was put in jail. Um, that list is expected to be made public. In the next few days, the list of people who hung out with Jeffrey Epstein and who may have been involved in the rape and sexual uh, exploitation of minors. Uh, According to the BBC, the disclosure of this list is probably going to throw new light on the sex trafficking network that was directed by Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, And Epstein, of course, uh, directed, uh, well, like I just said, he directed that sex trafficking network along with his associate, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, the woman who's now in prison. Um, Now, Epstein, as we know from all the bullshit that hit the popular press a couple of years ago, Epstein's buddies were high-profile figures from the world of politics and business and royalty. And a judge ordered the court documents in a lawsuit linked to uh, Ghislaine Maxwell must be unsealed. Hmm. Now, there are 187 mentions of, quote, John Doe, end quote, in the court papers. And many of these uh, uh, mentions will now be given their real names. Oh, boy. Now, why is this being made public? Well, the identities are being revealed under a settled lawsuit against Ghislaine Maxwell, who is, by the way, the daughter of a British media tycoon. That's why this story comes from the BBC. And she is serving already a 20-year prison term for the crimes she committed with Epstein. Um, The defamation lawsuit was brought by one Virginia... Uh, Jeffrey, one of uh, Miss Maxwell's accusers, and at the time, the names were kept secret under a court-ordered seal. Well, all of that is going to end. Oh, my God. Okay, what did, what, what did the judge say about the names? Well, uh, the judge in this uh, noted that many of the individuals named in the lawsuit have already been publicly identified by the media or in Ghislaine's Mac, uh, Maxwell's criminal trial. And she added, the judge added that many others, quote, did not raise an objection, end quote, to the release of the documents. And according to reports, and you can take this with as many grains of salt as you want to, but according to reports, some of the names on the list will remain sealed, including those belonging to child victims of this onslaught. That's according to the judge. And some individuals may have, uh, their names may appear more than once under different numbers of this John Doe system to protect the identities up until now. So the exact number of names that are going to be revealed is unknown at this point. An investigations editor at the Palm Beach Post here in the U.S. told CNN um, today, Tuesday, that new details are probably going to be revealed. Now, even if the names on the list turn out to be already known, according to this investigative reporter, new light may be shed on the exact nature of what they were doing with Epstein and Maxwell, and by extension, the people who were the victims of these predators. Now, the question has been asked ever since this case hit, whose names might be on the list? Well, uh, according to reports, will be a mixture of people accused of wrongdoing, people making the accusations, and others who were potential witnesses to crimes. You can bank on this. The names that will be included on this list, if they include any Democratic political figures, even if they appear on the list as a witness, not a perpetrator, but as a witness or someone making accusations, That's going to be twisted by the Christians in this country into proof positive that Bill Clinton was raping 14-year-olds. Mark my words. Now, there could be employees of Epstein or people who visited his home or went to his uh, uh, somewhere on his private plane. And I think it's understood at this point that Clinton was among that group. Prince Andrew is expected to be on the list. 
And the court filings include 40 documents of evidence from a woman who has made accusations against this miserable Prince Andrew, right? Um, Buckingham Palace, responding to the charges against Prince Andrew, have said that the allegations are, quote, categorically untrue, end quote, which usually means they're absolutely true. Um, The big question, will Bill Clinton's name be on the list? Well, (laughs) Clinton's name is mentioned more than 50 times in the court documents. That's according to ABC News. But there's no implication of any illegality. Oh, boy. Um, Clinton traveled on Epstein's plane on humanitarian trips to Africa in the early 2000s. And at the time, he praised Epstein as a committed philanthropist. Epstein, Epstein, whatever. Uh, and, and Clinton's uh, group or his spokespeople have previously said that Clinton cut ties with Epstein before the financial uh, before Epstein came under investigation. And people who speak for Bill Clinton said in the past that he knows nothing about Epstein's crimes. Well, you can take that with as uh, much hesitancy as you want to. Um, Epstein, if you remember, was accused of running a vast network of underage girls for sex. He pleaded not guilty. Um, A decade earlier, he had been convicted once of soliciting uh, prostitution from a minor. Then he was convicted and went to prison and, you know, committed suicide, if you want to believe that. Okay. So prepare yourself. The Christian fascists in this country are going to run with this like they have never run with anything before. No matter where Clinton's name appears, it will be proof positive to these Christian Nazis that he is as guilty as as the now dead Epstein. Hi, True Seekers, Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.